Hi guys, I'm going to sneak in here and shoot a video on how to use our automatic tool link sensor. For this demonstration, we're going to be using a program that we wrote that's already in your NC Files folder on your Linux CNC PC called tooltouchtest.ngc. This program uses four different tools, so we've picked four different link tools here. And all it does is loads each tool individually and then drives over to the origin of the stock. So we've set a piece of MDF up on the table and we're going to set the origin on the corner of the MDF and we're going to run through all four of these tools. So the first thing we need to do is launch the Linux CNC control software. And then let's home the machine. Okay, after we've homed it, you'll see that down here it says no tool and we're in the G54 coordinate system. So now let's go ahead and hit the measure first tool button and it will drive over to the tool change location. And then we can insert our first tool. I'm just going to finger tighten them into the collet because we're not going to actually be running the spindle during this demo. All right, it says insert tool one, click continue and ready. Tool's ready, hit continue. Now it's going to drive over and it's going to measure the length of that first tool. You'll notice that when it plunges down, it's moving really slow at 10 inches a minute because you don't want to smack the tool sensor at a high velocity. Okay, now it has measured the length of that first tool. And you'll notice over here at the bottom of your screen, it says tool one offset minus 3.89087. Now we know that that tool is not actually close to four inches long and it's also not a negative number. What that number means is how far the z-axis had to travel from machine zero to reach the tool sensor. And everything is relative off of that point uh, moving forward. So let's go ahead and load our test program. Now that the software knows how long that tool is, we need to do our touch off. So let's drive over to the corner of that stock. Now we can move over to incremental mode and we can nudge it into place. Okay, that's close enough for this demonstration. All right, you'll notice in our program that we're using the G54 coordinate system. So when we do our touch-offs, we want to make sure that we're in the G54 coordinate system. So let's hit select. Set selected axis origin. And choose the G54 coordinate system. Now, each time that we do the touch-off window, it's going to remember the previous coordinate system that we used, and it will pre-populate this. Most of what you're going to be doing, you'll be using the G54 coordinate system. So we're going to touch off the Z. We're going to touch off the Y. I'm going to touch off the X. Okay. Now we can hit the play button. And let us down here. We already know the length of this first tool, so we technically don't need to do this first tool length test, but for simplicity's sake, in our programming, we'll just go ahead and let it do that. And you'll see that it drove down there, and it's going to count to four, and then it's going to pull back and it's going to drive over, and now it's going to prompt us 
to insert tool number two. So let's go ahead and swap out to tool number two. And this tool is about a half inch shorter than the previous tool. Also, we're not necessarily shoving it up in the collet the same distance each time. So back on the computer, let's hit continue. <laughs> touch down in exactly the same spot as the first tool. It's going to count to four and then it's going to do another tool change. Now it prompts us to insert tool three. So let's go ahead and swap out for tool number three. Now this is a really long tool that I picked up a couple years ago for cutting foam blocks. All right, tools inserted, click continue. going to count to four and then it's going to do a tool change tool number four. And this is a 30 degree V bit. Okay continue. count to four and then the program is done. Hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to use the automatic tool link sensor. Hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to us and come back and see us again.